that's the toilet, and it's still running. Welcome back to Warrior House DIY. I'm JR, and I'm going to teach you warriors how to fix your running toilet and save yourselves the potential of a $900 water bill. Let's get into it. Warrior House DIY, empowering you with skills for life. Make sure to like this video, check out our helpful links in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe. The toilet is running. It means that the fill valve has not turned off. Okay, well, in this case, we can see that the float has raised all the way up to the top. The water is still running. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the water here. To turn off your water valve, most of them are going to look like this. They're going to be at 90 degree angle. You're just going to want to turn this. If it's a quarter turn, you just have a quarter turn and you're done. If it's an older style like this, you're going to keep on cranking until it doesn't go anymore. We've got our water turned off, and even though mine is still trickling by slowly, we can still inspect this. When investigating the cause of the running water, the first thing that we're going to want to check is the flapper. Is there any water seeping by this flapper? You can get a feel for how good of a seal it has on it by simply just opening it a little bit and knowing that it's sucking back down on it. While you're in here, we're doing preventative maintenance. We're inspecting the flapper. If we've determined that that needs to be replaced, grab the appropriate one with the right model number so that you don't run the risk of having an improper seal. In this case, we see that the water has been continuously running over and out of the fill valve here. Is there any problems with that? Are there any cracks? No. So then we're going to deal with the seal and then we know that we're good. Inspecting the rest of this. If you are taking the time to drain your tank out and you do have a wet vac, a shop vac that's uh, able to vacuum water or even just a sponge, you might want to clean out any sediment that might be in the bottom of the bowl. In this case, we see that we've got a lot of calcification over time. So when we go to grab the fill valve seals, we're going to keep a whole package on hand. It's a lot cheaper to replace you know a little one dollar seal as opposed to replacing the whole part and it's much less time consuming to simply replace that seal that's inside there than it is to drain the whole tank take everything apart and replace that fill valve itself this is a job that you can do that's not even going to require any tools other than your hands in most toilets you're going to have an american standard or a fluid master aftermarket one available at all the big box stores you're going to simply want to go ahead and disconnect this float stem, it just snaps off from the top of this valve lever here. And then simply by pushing down and a quarter turn to the left, we're going to be able to remove the top of our fill valve. Now, now what we're looking for is any kind of debris that might be in here, any kind of calcification that might be around this seal. And this is what we're going to be dealing with today. With this removed, if your water's not running like mine, you're going to want to give it a little tiny crack. You can cover it with your hand if you have to, just enough to get the water bubbling out of there just a little bit. Make sure there's no debris stuck in there. And then we're going to deal with this part here. This is the fill valve seal. And we're just going to go ahead and peel that right off. We're going to inspect, make sure that we're not dirty inside of there, right? Give it a little rinse. This is clean water in the toilet. This is not dirty water in this side of the tank, but you can see that I do have some calcification inside this bowl. So this is likely the culprit. We're gonna remove the old one. You can get a new one. The link is down below. I recommend getting a package of these. If you live in an area with hard water, that's more susceptible to calcification, but let's go ahead and open this guy up here. Really easy. There's a little metal pin sticking up right there at the top. There's the fill valve itself moving in and out. And then there's a little dimple right on the end of here. We're going to slide that right on, push it right back into the center there. We're going to get it right back on the cap. So now we're pushing down and turning it a quarter turn to the right. Snap our float rod back on there and open the water back up. Give it a little bit of test. You can hear the water still running. Let off, and we're good. Warriors, it's really that simple. A lot of these fill valves are gonna be the most common ones you're gonna encounter, or they're in your own home. They're American Standard, they're Fluid Master, and you can see here, this Fluid Master fill valve seal is going to be widely used across many different model numbers. So congratulations, you just saved yourself from a big fat water bill. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure to click like, subscribe, and share this video with anybody else who you know has a leaking toilet.